Tanya, but I mean, that's the one thing I kind of want to do with that's money funny. if I do ever you have get money, it. Eric? No, no, I've got like twenty-two. You would, you could buy a, you you could buy a multi, you could buy a duplex, you could you do just that. Put that in Bitcoin. For real? Yeah. You think it's going to take off crazy? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Hmm. We've had this conversation. This again. I was going to say, we've had this conversation a long time ago, and I didn't bite on it because I didn't have any money then either. Just take the, take 20000 and put in Bitcoin. Yeah, I'm going to take that seriously. It won't Just appreciate it. as much yeah? as a house. Just do it. No? No. I'm not saying it's not a bad, bad, now is a bad time. You know when's a good time to do it? In five years from now when it's on the ground. Right what? now you're buying at the peak. Oh, the house. The house. Okay. The first thing to sink, condos and duplexes. Number one, first first one to go, first first card to topple. So, in as far as foreclosures, yeah. Okay, so let people lose their jobs. Okay. I think there's a time coming where people are going to feel really bad for not having Bitcoin. You All should right. get some before I, that happens. I'm going to take that seriously. Yeah. If I had money back in the day when you told me, I would have done it. It, but doesn't, I it, didn't it, have shit. it doesn't matter. Just do it now. Yeah. No, I. That's it. Yeah, they're, they're if, not you, not if you're saying out. that, I'll take it seriously. I'm saying it. Okay. Are they not not going that way? I th- I don't I don't see a way that I don't see a way that it couldn't go that I, way. I I agree with you. I but don't see a way that it couldn't. I think they're so fucking paranoid because they were like, "Fuck that shit," and now they're like, "Fuck, there's no way back." What are they gonna do? Their hands are so like the dollar's so. Crap. You don't think they'll just introduce a like a, a coin that's like illegal, not to not to like that's sure. legal tender and all. I'm sure they will. Yeah, yeah. U.S. coin. And you think Bitcoin will be able to withstand that? I think Bitcoin mm-hmm. is it is digital gold. It is cyber gold and there's no competitor okay well they can't because no no one i the, believe it the skeptics of the bitcoin holders would be like this oh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a u.s dollar coin i'm sure they'll manage that right it would be a tough sell the th- the thing is um that'd be like government pickup truck <laughs> the most most important the uh, one of the most important things to understand is what a shelling point is a shelling point is the point upon which all participants agree without communicating about it. So here's an example. If you and I were gonna meet in New York City and we lost our cell phones, we lost every way of communicating, where would we meet? We would meet at the informational terminal at Grand Central Station at noon on Saturday. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's that's the point that everybody agrees on, or yes. Times Square. If we, were, if we were playing a game, imagine right now that there's three blue squares and one red square. Okay, imagine three blue squares and one red square. We're playing a game called Pick the Square. I don't tell you what the rules are. What square do you pick? I'm going with the red. Okay, so the red square, that's what a, that's what a shelling point is. It's what people will gravitate towards and agree upon. And this, there's a shelling point for, every, for, uh, for everything. There's um, who the most beautiful celebrity is, whatever. There's a shelling point for everything. I'd pick oh, the thanks. third blue square, and the prettiest celebrity is Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody gravitates to. Yeah. But uh, gold is... Gold is was always was always a, a monetary shelling point and when and when you think about when i'm when i'm trying to think about how to pitch people on bitcoin what i think about is i instead of talking about computer stuff i think about like a arabian carpet trader yeah from like the year negative 500 or something like that and like trying to trying to convince that guy to take something other than gold for his wares and like just what would that guy say to you like you're just like you come to him. Yeah. This is this is aluminum. This is ten times better than gold. You can make airplanes out of this. What's he gonna say? This is not gold. I want gold. Give me gold now. It's yeah. it is not with, only gold. That's maybe it. silver, or maybe silver. Ethereum. But sil- silver is actually is interesting because s- the way to view silver is as a monetary technology. So the um, the the sort of the, the ratio of silver and gold in the earth versus the ratio of their value in real life. Uh, when, so silver, silver came around as a, it, the, it, its purpose was to make transactions easier because you could, you could carry around pieces of silver and buy stuff that was cheaper than gold. As soon as the technology of paper notes came around, the value of silver and gold decoupled mm-hmm. because there was no longer there was no longer a need for a small, easily interchangeable coin if you had paper notes that you could use to do the same thing. So the value of gold stayed the same. The value of gold, that's your long-term store of wealth. That's where you put your 
your value. The pa- but the the technology, the, the reason silver had had value before paper notes came around was as a monetary technology for doing smaller transactions. And once you have, once you in, introduce the technology of paper notes, the value of silver and gold decoupled from that point onward. Mm. So all the people who say that there's a point coming where silver and gold they're they're going to be there's going to be a recoupling of the value and silver's going to shoot straight up they miss they they're missing that point they're misunderstanding what the purpose of silver it was and is anyway shelling point the it, the bitcoin over the past since since 20, 2009 or whatever it has it has solidified its um not in the minds of the public, not in the minds of people who don't understand technology, but in the minds of anybody who's an insider in technology, anybody who understands technology, anybody who understands computers, even from a like a peripheral, like Indian I- Indian perspective, the, uh, the position of of Bitcoin being a shelling point for digital money that's been solidified. Like that's culturally, that's now it's. It's if you say something other than that, you hmm. sound like a fucking idiot. If you say something other than that, you sound you sound like an idiot or a, or a scammer or just somebody who doesn't understand like what what yeah. it is. But even even to people who are not into cryptocurrency, who are into who are just in San Francisco or whatever India or whatever, income. they now you have the income. They <laughs> Bitcoin is now that shelling point for for digital gold, for digital store of value. And um, if if uh, I mean, the bet the bet that you'd be making is that the the trend of stuff dematerializing and vaporizing into a, a layer of um, just u- ubiquitous, ever present cloud technology. If you think that's where the future is going to go, which I think it obviously is, you can certainly disagree with that. But if you think that things are going to continue to dematerialize, that blockbuster videos are going to continue to turn into Netflix, that things that are physical are going to continue to turn into virtual things and not the other way around if that's where you think the trajectory goes then it is it is obvious that there's a there's a place for and a need for a a digital store of value and the other interesting thing is that um the 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 thing the thing that the real invention of bitcoin is the invention of digital scarcity that's the invention of it so if you have a digital if you have a digital anything all Anything digital is a ledger. It is a store of data. It is a, a, a table of data. There's no, there's no such thing as a, the way that they use the term digital token, there's, there's no such thing as like a unique token in cyberspace that you can't copy. Anything that's information-based can be copied. There's no way to have, there's no way to have data or a file that's like unique and not, not copyable. But because of this, because of the, um, the way that this, ledger functions and is is like verified across a, a distributed network of computers and just the the just because of the way the bitcoin ledger is is set up it is a, it essentially is like a physical a real physical like thing in cyberspace it is grabbable it is like really there like it is digital digital scarcity is it safe to say that bitcoin will be the see all be all no matter what when it comes to that it's like the invention of fucking writing or something but uh yeah there's there's so to unseat unseat bitcoin as it's it's preposterous like it's so any anytime you anytime to unseat something that has a that has a strong network effect like facebook my face that has a bunch of users that has a bunch of people like an entire like the cultural eye is turned towards that thing you need to you need to have something that's at least 10 times as good to to unseat like to go from MySpace to Facebook. Not that not that we're not nostalgic for MySpace and it's it was better, but it's like as far as what people really want to do, get a dopamine kick, stalk their exes, look at people from high school and say that they're better than like Facebook is ten times better than MySpace mm-hmm. for the reasons that the sickening masses kind of use social media. But for something like this, that's like a it's like a it's more like an invention. It's not it's not a social network. It's not software. It's it's an invention. There's no, there's no way to be ten times. There's better no way than to that. be ten times better than than what Bitcoin does. It's hard. It's hard to imagine. And the, there's, there are like parameters. Like if you had a, like the the Bitcoin, the clearance, the clearance is slow. Like it takes an hour of con- of confirmations to have your transaction confirmed. So there are parameters where if you're a know it all. If you're like a guy that's looking for cracks in the armor, you could say, well, this one, my network does it in six minutes. But it's like you're missing. They're they're all like um, see, miss, seeing the, the for, missing the forest for the trees or whatever. If what you're doing is 
moving an amount of money that's like a life changing amount of money that could ruin you if it gets if it gets hacked or whatever. You don't want something that clears in six minutes. Mm -hmm. You don't want something that has finality in like a microsecond. You want this. It what the um, there's a guy Michael Saylor, the guy that owns uh, that runs um, is it Micro Strategy? Micro Strategy, yeah, yeah. It's a good. You know the thing is about Bitcoin, <laughs> Sam. The you way, know, the way know, you, no, no lips. The, yeah. <laughs> Drinking is a bigger part of my life than I let in. People need to know <laughs> that I'm dealing with them. Uh, you know, being the biggest holder of Bitcoin doesn't make it easier for me not to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. I mean, I, you know, uh, it's just got. got <laughs> but the the analogy he makes is is like a before technology, before digital, you'd have like a container ship filled with gold. Like that's how you would move gold around and bit bitcoin's slowness and it, it's it's a feature it's not a a weakness it's part it's part of the robustness of bitcoin is that it's slow and it has this finality to it so that when it actually does like it's just that's the attractive side that's part of the it. attractive side yeah but i don't i don't see a future where there's not a digit a need for a digital store of value and i don't see a future where that that need is not bitcoin which mm. is very hard to imagine it's good and to if, know. If that's no, if that's the case, the, if that's the case, the price of a of one Bitcoin would be in the millions of dollars. The other the other argument that I've heard that's extremely strong and and I, in my opinion hits every hits every nail. You go to YouTube, Chris, and type in Murad Mamadov ultimate Bitcoin argument, and that's just to show the thumbnail of this kid. We don't need to look at the video, but um, what he the one point that he makes that's really uh, an important point is that right now you have. Um, all these different things like the the reason the reason why the value of real estate for example is going up one reason along with fine art collectibles all these other things is because there's this there's all this uh there's all this wealth that knows that you you if you if you keep your wealth in in US dollars if you keep it in just mm. government currency that it's it's buying power is going to continue to slide down so if you have a lot of money, you're you're frantically looking for a place to put your money, and and there are people who specialize obviously in real estate, but there's also, like every other, every other thing that's used for a store of value, even this even the stock market. It used it it was not the case in the 1950s that you would go put your money into a mutual fund. So there's this sort of like um, it's just a huge skew in in price the, mon the monetary premium which is the amount of money over the over the actual price of the thing so if a mm. if a c class is actually worth 65,000 but it's selling for 100,000 because people are like hot to get cars and there's it's just you know my money it's my money's going to be worth less in a year i got to spend it now like the the 35,000 extra there that's the monetary premium mm -hmm. the monetary premium is something that it used to be like when we, when we had sound money, when we had a gold-backed currency, or when we had a currency that wasn't being rapidly inflated, that people were happy to keep that value in in the money. It's just much easier. It's it's just imagine all of our friends, like everybody that we know, is trying to like day trade, trying to flip real estate, trying to do all this bullshit. That like it, it, ultimately it's a, it's a ton of work for. Sometimes if if we if we're talking about smart our smart friends, it's good payoff. If we're talking about our dumb friends, it's like. The guy that we know that works hard and now he's like trying to figure out how to do a mutual. He's like trying yeah. to figure out how to fucking flip stock. To, sports bet. Just it, idiocy. Yeah. Just I'll like, jump in late. Like I'm gonna jump in this double dutch game that's spinning a million miles an hour. That you have no you, idea about. And you're gonna lose your hands. So <clears throat> if I, I, the case that he makes is that if there's a if there is a sound money, what that would do is as as people as people realize not only that there's a sound money but also that this sound money is gonna capture all that all that value that is currently washed over all these that it, it's going to capture the monetary premiums of all these other things that um just just that it would do that just that bitcoin would be like the apex predator mm -hmm.